Welcome back, everyone. This is Super Stop Brother playing The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. We have received a trif... Uh, no. I can't remember what we did. We went on to the submarine. I remember that much. I don't think there was... Hmm. Okay, hold on. Let me check that. Charts. Here we go. Triforce chart number one. We're on Crescent Moon Island. So, let's see. This must be, map must be interpreted before you can read it. Uh, Triforce chart number six, four, three, two, one. Beatles chart. Platform chart. Incredible chart. It appears that there is a Triforce to the west of us. Triforce piece. And then there is a Triforce chart to the west. Somewhere. Hmm. Let's let's go let's go go west first. It seems to be closer. Alright, come on, King. Alright, which way is the wind blowing? <clears throat> Hold on. No! Dead burn it where, okay, where am I? Okay, there we go. It's blowing northwest. Okay. Hang on a moment. Triforce chart number one, Triforce chart number two, three, six. Hmm. Guess we'll find out soon enough. Anyways, first I'll direct the wind to the west. To the west. Let's see if I can... Let's see if I'm lucky. Come on, luck! Yes! What in the world is that? <laughs> what was... <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. What was that? <laughs> okay, I didn't know that could happen. Anyways, let's put it away. Let's go over here a little bit. And go away, you. I'm trying to fish Triforce shards here. That's perfect. Stop here. Right here. Yes! Come on. Let it be the Triforce this time. Let it be the Triforce. Wow, that was a deep. That was pretty deep. But we get treasure, and the treasure be our a Triforce Shard. Now you only need five more. Huzzah! All right, and let's see if I can shortcut it back. If not, I guess we can just sail the east. Eh, that'll work. Back to Dragon Roost Island. Oh, hello, Octa. What are you doing there? Alright then, to the east. Ah, 
fire to the east. There'll be an easterly wind a blowing. I think actually when they when the wind's coming from a certain direction, that's what they call westerly wind. Uh, hang on a moment. I thought I saw something. I saw something. Oh, never mind. Okay. Curiosity. Killed the cat. That's what it did. Hang on a moment. RB treasure around here. Out here. No, oh, I missed it. Hang on. Just need to readjust the angle. Readjust the angle. Come on. That burn it. I missed it. Somehow. Let's try here. There we go. Got it. Treasure! Arr! Booty! Plunder! A red rupee! That's 20 rupees! What a pleasant surprise! Okay then. Moving on. If I could find that fishy. Wow, that was a high fishy. And if I am correct, right, come here, fish. Got some info we need to get from you. Er, yeah, need some info from you. Holy small fry! Yeah, yeah, I've heard. I'll take you on a chart and information about this island, and start by opening up your sea chart. Flight control platform ready. To the west of here, over on Dragon Roost Island, you'll see all kinds of rocks. Big ones, little ones, you get the picture. Anyway, they say that long ago there used to be treasure hidden inside those things. There was? Who knows? There may still be some left. So you should open your eyes and take a good look around. From as high up as the sun is to, to as low down as your toes. And that's all the info I've got to offer. If you want to hear it again, you'll have to throw some more bait on the water for me. Sorry, but that's my policy, Fry. I can't go fighting evil on an empty stomach, you know. And with that, I'm off! Alright, and what we got over here, let's see... The south, we don't need to go to the south, but if we were to come to this island here, this peculiar place, I call this peculiar because, hang on, if I can find a docking, if I can find a place to dock. Oh, here we are, okay. This peculiar place. We shall be seeing, seeing why soon. Hey! Hang on, what's this? Birdman contest. Sign in counter. If you think you were born to fly, then take the challenge of the sky to win fame and prizes. Alright, sounds good to me. What are you looking at? Oh, all the way out there? I see, I see, quite so. What are you looking at? Come on, let me peek. Whoops, wrong one. There we are. Alright, what are you... I can't even see for that. Seagulls, it looks like. Hello, sir. 
Greetings, old person who has surely come to take the challenge of the big sky. This is where you can register for the official Rito Tribe Birdman contest. And now listen, you are free to use any means, methods, or tools you have at your disposal to help you soar through the sky. The rules are simple. See how far you can fly before you crash through the roiling seas like so much dead weight driftwood. Okay. A banner stands now at the site where the great and talented champion, who has flown the farthest to date, crashed into the frothy waves in a massive splash of glory. <laughs> if you are able to pass that flag, then you will be the new champion, and you will be drenched in praise, much as you will be drenched in seawater. <laughs> okay. The participation fee is a mere ten rupees. Well, will you take the challenge? Eh, sure, but I'm not going to try to go for it. I've never been able to. I think I came close once. Once. Okay! Then up the ladder you go! My brother awaits you up top. Uh, you don't seem to have any wings or feathers or anything on your back. So, you do have something that you can use to fly, right? Yes, I do. I sure hope so. Here's wishing the wind beneath your, uh, thing, whatever it is. Okay. You look funky. Oh, a challenger. The contest is afoot. You see that banner far off in the distance? That marks the record distance set by our great and talented champion. You must pass that banner. I must? Okay, then. Magic. We need plenty of it. I wish we had more magic. I don't know if we ever do get any more magic, but okay, then. Whoops. Here's my thing I used to fly, and also we need to make sure that the wind is blowing in the right direction. That will certainly help. Now, I did not know that you could actually direct it to the northwest, but that certainly would have helped. But that's probably how, how I got far this time, I don't know. Anyways, here we go! I'm gonna try that challenge. Woohoo! I'm gonna try to get into all of these so we can increase our distance. Come on, come on, yes! I'm not gonna make it. My magic's running low. Dangerously low. Oh, in a splash of glory. Spoosh! Flight distance, boys! 127 yards! Yes, a whopping 127 yards! Yeah, huzzah. 127 yards? I suppose that's about average. By which mi which I mean not even remotely in the League of the Great and Talented. Yeah, I know. Sir, have you ever thought of flying into any of the updrafts you see out there? Yes. They can really boost your distance. Yeah, but I don't think I have enough magic. Maybe that's my... Maybe you do need to find a fairy. I don't know. Probably would help. So, I guess we'll just... If we want a bottle, we'll take on the challenge again. This time with more magic. Anyways, if I can get onto the boat, we can get out of here. We can sail north. North, I say! And we're, we already directed it northwest, so I guess we'll just kind of head on up. Give me treasure! Arr! Booty! Sunken treasure! A red rupee! 20 rupees! What a pleasant surprise! And with that pleasant surprise, this is Super Step Brother. To be continued.